Hey guys, this is Doug here at MDP uh, Outdoor. Hope everyone's having a good day. Thanks for checking in on the YouTube channel again. Um, like I said in previous videos, uh, make sure you're liking and subscribing down below uh, to stay up to date. Um, if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, um, you'll know that this is a new venture for us. As, as you can tell by the channel too, we don't have very many videos up. Uh, so we're still learning uh, how to edit these videos. Uh, how to make them high quality and uh, something that you guys really really enjoy so uh, so be patient with us uh, we're learning and uh, hopefully here in the next coming weeks and months uh, that quality is really really good for you guys where you'll really really start enjoying it uh, but we feel like we're going to shoot some really good content uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about battery powered uh, handheld equipment uh, what is kind of evolving uh, quickly as you guys all know uh, we're seeing big brands like Tesla and GM and and uh, you know Husqvarna and Steel and Echo they're all you know getting into the battery technology and you know this is a you know exciting new it's not really new but uh, new to our industry uh, exciting new uh, products and technology and the the uh, upside to this is so so huge that we are excited that uh, we can offer a good quality product um, that that you guys are going to love and it's going to last you a long time and also it's going to give you the performance that you uh, really require as well so let's dig in a little bit we're going to do a short little demo as well i'm actually shooting this from my house uh, so we're out on the farm we're going to uh, Maybe trim down one of these buildings, trim down alongside of it, uh, show you what kind of performance you can expect uh, from a battery piece of equipment. So let's dig in a little bit and uh, show you some of the features and benefits of this particular piece. Uh, today I have a Husqvarna 536 LILX. This is their Pro uh, battery series. So this is top of the line, uh, designed to be run day in, day out. Um, by landscape contractors or consumers that just want a really good piece of piece of equipment so um, So I'll kind of scoot back here. So you'll see this is the uh, power unit um, So we're gonna pop the battery out here uh, This is the important part of the whole piece. It's what makes it go around uh, So this is a this is a older battery. It's one of our demo batteries that we use but uh, so this is a, a 4.2 amp hour battery uh, the new ones are right at 5 amp hours. Uh, this is a BLI 200. So this is the smallest battery, uh, pro battery, that Husqvarna makes. Uh, what's really, really unique about this battery, um, you know, you have your indicator lights here on the front. shows you this battery is three quarters of the way charged. Um, you'll see these fins up here at the top. Uh, what's really, really unique about the pro uh, battery stuff from Husqvarna is this battery has its own cooling system built in so you'll actually hear it when it's charging um, and also you can't really hear it when it's being used in the tool but this uh, battery has a built-in fan that keeps it cool uh, so it doesn't get over hot when you're uh, using it all day uh, you'll see it's it's pretty well built this battery has a life expectancy of 1500 cycles and a cycle is consisted of full charge to fully drained battery. So, you know, if you guys are out trimming or blowing or hedge trimming or uh, whatever you're using this battery for, if you run it down, say, half battery and charge it back up, that is only a half a cycle. So 1,500 cycles is a long time on these batteries. Um, so the piece itself is, is really, really lightweight. Um, it's, it's a really nice piece so you can see Husqvarna does stuff a little differently than what your competitive brands out on the market do uh, this battery actually will slide in from the side uh, and the reason for that is a design to you know when it's being used like this um, you know you're not getting the moisture if it's raining or uh, whatever you're not getting the moisture running down into a battery cavity that's on top of the unit like a lot of the competitive brands you see on the market uh, so it's off to the side so water kind of repels naturally off of it 
makes it a little bit more weather resistant so which is good for a long-term durability standpoint uh, you see our contact points inside here uh, really really uh, simple design so you take just take your battery uh, slide it in you'll hear it, it kind of clicks and locks in and you're ready to go uh, so let's kind of scroll down a little bit here if I can do this without getting too shaky on you guys so you'll see here's the um, command center I'll call it of the entire unit so it's just a push button like everything else is anymore so you're just going to hold this power button uh, I don't know if you can see this on the camera but you'll see a green light comes on uh, that tells you you're powered up and ready to go uh, you have a couple other buttons here. You have an E, a green E. Uh, that's in eco mode, so it cuts power about 20%. Um, it gives you a better, longer um, time between charges. So it just extends that battery life. Uh, then you have this other very, very unique feature uh, that I haven't seen on any other competitive brand. And I could be wrong. Other brands could have this. I just haven't seen it. But uh, you'll have this button here that you'll see it'll turn green when you push it and the light will go off and when you push it again what that does is it'll actually rotate the string trimmer head clockwise and counterclockwise depending on your preference um, I know our technician at Rushville uh, he's left-handed so he likes a string trimmer to turn opposite than what I do when I'm right-handed uh, something I never really thought about but uh, just a nice little unique feature that Husqvarna thought about uh, that I don't think any other brand on the market has. Um, so that's so you'll see you have your safety trigger here. It has to be depressed uh, before you pull the trigger to get it going. But uh, you know, on down, you know, you'll have a nice ergonomic handle. Husqvarna is angled, so it's more ergonomic to your hand uh, when you're holding it. On the other end, um, have the tra traditional uh, 35. Uh, pro string trimmer head on this one um, so you see your uh, electric motor is down here on the side and what that does um, is make the unit really really well balanced uh, so it's really comfortable to use for long periods of time uh, you'll see kind of something else unique you can tell this is a demo unit um, the cutter your string cutter is actually right in the center of the shroud um, so that allows, you know, no matter which way this head is turning, um, it is going to cut right there in the center. So that way it's the longest uh, string possible. So I'm going to scroll this up a little bit and uh, about ready to fall over. So let's, uh, let's fire this big bad boy up and see what it's all about. So I'm going to hold my uh, green button here. You'll notice it's really, really quiet. So that's full RPM, so all you hear is the whistle of the string itself. So I'm going to push the economy button so you can kind of hear a little tone difference of it slowing down to save some electricity, save some juice, extend that battery life. So full speed, eco, full speed, eco. So I don't know if we'll be able to catch this on camera. Um, let's see if we can do this. Without, um, so you see the head is spinning clockwise now. So I'm going to push that button that will reverse it. You can see it's rotating counterclockwise. Very, very unique feature. Um, so this unit is really... Um, you can see kind of how well balanced it is. You know, I'm just resting my uh, thumb. So you can see it's pretty much balanced uh, right in the center there. So really, really good good piece. Uh, we've, we're selling a ton of these. And guys are just really, really loving it. So let's, uh, let's see how it performs, you know, because that's what it's all about. If it doesn't perform up to your expectations, you know, it doesn't matter what brand it is or or you know how much I could hype it up. If it doesn't perform, then um, you know it's not worth having, in my opinion. So, little disclaimer: I am wearing shorts. Uh, this is not a approved PPE equipment. <laughs> so, um, future videos, we'll make sure we we uh, 
have our proper uh, PPE equipment on. So I do have my safety glasses on. So that is one uh, piece that I do have. So let's uh, shoot a little video here of it in action and you guys can see it for yourself. All right guys, here we go. We're gonna try it out, see what kind of performance we can expect. Uh, this grass hasn't been trimmed in about uh, two weeks. So it's nice and tall, I guess as tall and thick as it's gonna get in uh, mid-July. So let's uh, try it out and see what we got. guys can see it's a uh, it's a pretty well pretty good uh, power ratio um, so this is equivalent to about a 21 22 cc trimmer uh, which is about the industry standard uh, for you guys uh, landscaping so you can kind of see um, trimmed it down pretty good went around my trees here uh, trimmed it down really really well so and uh just not much effort i mean it's it's nice and light and comfortable to use well balanced and uh you know battery life expectancy is uh it ranges depending on um you know what battery obviously you know the bli 200 what we're using today is the smallest um i've got about two acres out here that i maintain on a weekly basis uh, it takes me about a half an hour, 45 minutes to string trim, and I use about half a battery every time I uh, trim my yard. So, uh, not much, not much battery usage. So you can expect, uh, you know, an hour, hour and a half, maybe, out of a small battery. Um, so then, you know, you go on up to a BLI 300, on up to the big backpack batteries that will last you all day, if not multiple days, depending on use uh, per charge. So, um, you know, like I said, this technology is not new, but it's quickly evolving, and battery technology is just going to constantly get better and better um, as time goes on. Um, so, you know, this BLI 200, you know, five years from now will probably run half a day uh, versus now, you know, only running, you know, an hour or two uh, per charge. So uh, it's really, really exciting. Uh, so one of the uh, things that most landscapers kind of question or doubt is the cost. Um, you know, the battery technology is a little bit more upfront cost involved versus a uh, gas powered and you know how do you justify switching to battery power when you know gas power has been the industry standard for years and years and years um, you know two cycle stuff is pretty bulletproof anymore no matter what brand you're uh, you have on your trailer or in your garage uh, so why make the switch to battery um, as we know everybody is more environmentally conscious anymore 
um, you know there's ozone or no zone action days um, here in Indiana that we deal with you know on hot summer days like today you know when it's 90 and really really humid so um, so you got that concern you know where if you're a landscaper you know that means that your um, your guys aren't being able to be productive in the field because their uh, equipment won't pass that uh, action day sorry guys I'm trying to so you know it won't pass the uh, requirements to run on no on a no zone action day for battery power you know you can uh, plug that in charge it up you know the night before uh, most of our guys that are running it have some sort of inverter or something uh, wired into their trailer or a lot of the new pickup trucks anymore have a 110 outlet right in the cab of the truck so um, so uh, for instance if you have a couple BLI 200 batteries uh, per piece or if you have you know if you're running a couple string trimmers you know having one or two spare batteries usually constantly charging uh, by the time the one is dead and needing to be charged uh, the other one will be ready to go so um, so that's a really positive thing um, it's something that you know most people don't really think about you know it's another step that you have to take uh, it is another added cost so why other than you know no zone action days that are you know I don't know what the average here in Indiana you know it can't be any more maybe a couple handfuls of days that you would get affected by that but if you're a large landscape company or a small even a small owner operator um, you know those days are uh, valuable and time is money and no matter if you're running a multi-million dollar company or you know you're just doing a part-time on the side or you're a homeowner um, you want to get the job done when you have time and not have to work around uh, one more obstacle um, so uh, so cost is a big prohibitor uh, what I what I've really been having success at is getting guys to understand yes you're buying you know a, a $300 string trimmer a $200 battery a $100 uh, or $150 charger um, yes that string trimmer you know, comparable gas is going to run you 300 bucks you know you're going to be $500 into uh, a pro battery uh, string trimmer so how do you justify that extra couple hundred bucks um, how, you know a simple way to think about it and I haven't really thought about this until here lately but a simple way to think about it is you're pre buying your fuel so you know with a gas powered string trimmer you know it comes ready to go minus uh, maybe the dealership puts a little bit of gas to make sure it's gonna start and run okay for you but other than that you know you're gonna have to go you know buy a gas can uh, buy a two cycle oil and then go fuel up at a gas station or if you're a large landscape company have a fuel barrel um, where with a gas powered or a, a battery powered string trimmer or hand handheld tool in general uh, you buy the string trimmer you buy the battery you buy the charger takes you half an hour 45 minutes to charge that battery up on your drive home or or whatever um, and you're ready to go so you've pre-bought your um, your fuel for, uh, basically for you know 1500 cycles so you know on average that's two or three years worth of um, runtime before you're having to replace that battery so uh, so that's kind of a simple uh, explanation on how you can justify spending a couple hundred extra dollars on battery if you think about why well, I'm pre-buying my fuel. So you think about you know how many times a week or a month do you stop at a gas station to fill your uh, two-cycle sure can up. Uh, yes a little plug for sure can here in the video but uh, you know how many times are you stopping to fill that can up with two-cycle oil you know, a six pack of two cycle oil is going to run you 15, 15, 20 bucks uh, right around in there, depending on, you know, the how much you're mixing. So, you know, 15, 20 bucks, you know, that's going to make six gallons of gas. Um, so gas right now here in Indiana is right hovering right below three bucks. I think uh, this morning when I got it, it was 290, 293, something like that. Uh, that's for 87 octane. 
Um, so typically we recommend a 92 or 93 in two cycle. Uh, so you're over three bucks a gallon, probably almost 350 a gallon for that. Um, so you figure that's six gallons, you know, doing quick math at three bucks, you know, that's eighteen dollars in gas. Um, you know, fifteen bucks will will be generous and go the lower amount uh, on oil. So there, you're fifteen and eighteen, you're thirty-one dollars in uh, one or six gallons of gas. And you know, a lot of you landscapers, you know, you're burning through a gallon of gas. You know, probably two or three gallons of gas a week in two cycle stuff. So you know, you're thirty bucks times say even one gallon of fuel or six gallon of fuel a month so that's 30 bucks you know here in indiana we mow uh six seven months out of the year maybe eight months um so you know you're a couple hundred bucks right there in, in gas so there you're breaking even now if you're following my pretty generic math uh you've pretty much broke even between battery and gas powered uh, in one year of runtime and that's being pretty uh, conservative on gas usage um, so you can expect you know, if you're running a couple gallons of gas uh, two cycle fuel a week uh, you're going to pay that off that difference off quicker uh, if you run uh, maybe not as much uh, two cycle gas if you're a homeowner or something like that um, you know yes it's going to have a longer payoff time um, but all in all, you know, it's going to pay for itself in the long run. So just a little thing to think about today as we talked about the Husqvarna battery powered uh, string trimmer primarily. Uh, Husqvarna has string trimmers, blowers, hedge trimmers, extended reach hedge trimmers, pole saws, chainsaws. Uh, about the whole uh, portfolio of handheld stuff is now available in uh, lithium ion battery power. Uh, you can buy consumer grade uh, for you homeowners um, and you know that's really good stuff as well it doesn't have quite the features that the pro stuff does uh, but it's really really good stuff or you can buy the pro uh, that's designed to run day in day out uh, so uh, from Husqvarna you've got those two options Echo has some uh, battery powered stuff as well um, and uh, it's really really good stuff as well Echo's a recommended and uh, really, really high quality company. Um, so uh, we stock the Husqvarna stuff at both our Noblesville and Rushville locations. So if you're here in Indiana, uh, Central and Southeast Indiana, make sure you stop into the store and uh, pick one of these tools up. So if you got any questions, comments, uh, post them below. Make sure you uh, smack that red subscribe button uh, so you can come back and see more videos in the future. Uh, once again, this is Doug at MDP. Everybody have a good night, and we'll see you in the next video.